In this video, you'll learn how to make your lead melodies grab the attention of your listeners. <laughs> like this. This is Ray Harmony, and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Show, where you are empowered with notation-free theory for making great music. And if you're new to our channel, then just a heads up, the hacks that you're about to witness are at an intermediate level. So if you need help with the basics, no problem. Just read our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks, Learn Scales and Chords, which you can download at revolutionharmony.com. <laughs> and while you're there, be sure to check out our Cutting Edge Apprenticeship course as well. All right, so what you see on the screen right now is the lead vocal melody from the verse of our upcoming single, Down With The Drama. So the highlight bit on the top here, that's the actual vocal melody. And then these notes at the bottom here, these are just the root notes of the chords in our progression. And they're all muted, so they're not part of the vocals, they're just there for reference. We're in the key of F sharp minor and the chords are F sharp minor, A major, E major, B minor, D major, and A major. That's it. And then it loops. And if you missed any videos on the other sections of this song, then check out our playlist in the description below. All right, let's jump in. The first. Duh. Hack one, seven up. <laughs> Lead melodies need to grab your listeners' ears and demand their mind's attention. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your song will just blur into background music. So, in this world of ever-increasing distraction, how can your lead melody get someone's attention? Easy, you just use our 7-Up hack. Evolution has programmed our minds to ignore everyday things. Yeah, like the trees on a road you walk down every day. And instead pay attention to extraordinary things. Like the first tree on that road to eventually blossom. So if you want your song to be the first to blossom, <laughs> then write your lead melody with a huge interval in it, like a 7. Mm -hmm. This hack works because small intervals are considered everyday things. Exactly, they're even heard in speech all the time. But large intervals are super rare and therefore super exciting. And lastly, for extra attention, go a 7th up instead of down. Yes, yeah, so you can see we actually start our lead melody with a 7 up, so we're wasting no time at all in grabbing our listeners attention. No time like the present, right? And just in case you don't know how to get the interval of a 7th, it's super easy. You just start by going an octave up from whatever note you're on, so we're on the C sharp here, so you just go an octave up to the C sharp there, and then you just move one note down in your scale, and that's your 7 up. And depending on your scale or mode, you'll either have a major 7, which is 11 semitones, or a minor 7, which is 10 semitones. We've got a minor 7 here, because if you count all the semitones from C sharp up to B, there's 10. And by the way, when you count semitones, remember it's like counting stairs in a staircase. You don't count the ground. So in other words, the note you start on is not counted. The first step up is one semitone. Alright, let's have a listen to our 7 up. And by the way, if you want our very best melody hack, then use our melody checklist. It's the ultimate list of do's and don'ts for writing great melodies. Yeah, and you can find that in our songwriting and producing PDF at revolutionharmony.com slash books. Hack two, endings are for quitters. <laughs> The end of a bar is just that, the end of a bar. It does not need to be the end of your melody. Mm -hmm. Most songwriters and producers don't consider this and automatically finish their melodies on or before the end of a bar. But endings are for quitters. <laughs> One of the best hacks for writing a flowing yet unpredictable lead melody is to hold your last note in the bar over the bar line and into the next bar. This hack loosens up that rigid structure so many melodies adhere to, and it even creates the illusion that your lead melody is floating above the music, making it even more attention grabbing. Yes, yeah, so you can see we're holding this E over the bar line and into the next bar. And that brings us onto an awesome side effect of this hack. Because you're holding one note over two chords, the feeling of that note changes. Check this out. The E is a five over the A major, which sounds totally resolved. But then when the chord changes to F sharp minor, that E becomes a very tense flat seven, which injects a sudden momentum into the melody because it now desperately wants to move on and resolve. And finally, for extra melodic fluidity, 
end your held note on a quarter note beat, then give your melody an eighth note rest, and then start your melody again on the offbeat eighth note. So tasty! Think of it like this, if that unexpected held note over the bar line is your rainbow, then this surprising syncopation is your pot of gold. <laughs> and with that, your listeners are now your fans. And just before the final playthrough, if you want a more in-depth lesson on how to write a lead melody, we suggest our video, Five Hacks for Better Vocal Melodies. So keep on watching, because that's going to pop up on your screen right after the playthrough. And if you like our hacks, then please subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. Also, we love hearing from you, so come say hello in the comments below. Thanks for joining the Hack Music Theory Revolution. We'll see you next week. <laughs>